Well, hello, everybody. Whoopee flower. <laughs> well, what? according to my gardening mama. What? 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 I'm kind of confused. I gotta take a short break. I got. Well, actually, I do have to go to the bathroom. So bear with me. Okay, I'm back. We are about the scare here. So, should I discuss, I know this is coming out of nowhere, but should I discuss Let's Plays that I'm not sure I can do? Like, these are Let's Plays I may want to do down the line, but, well, for one thing, I mostly focus on games like this, like movie and TV license stuff, as well as obs more obscure stuff. Like I, don't fo like, I don't focus a whole lot on newer games, and especially ones that are more recent, like, GTA 5 is probably the most recent game I've done a Let's Play of. And if you're wondering why I haven't done videos for that in a little while, eh, I'll go back to it when I feel like it. Right now, Piglet's more important. I'm sorry. But are there any games out there you might be wondering that I consider kind of off-limits? Well, yeah, I'd say there's some. For one thing, any game made by Nintendo is off-limits because, well, you know Nintendo and their copyright policies. By the way, I noticed Pooh's honeypot back there was still there, so he freaking abandoned it. Why? He, does he like keeping a collection of them? But anyways, is, any other games that are off-limits? Um... Well, Metal Gear Solid, I tried to do a Let's Play of, like, almost five years ago, back when I first started this channel, but it almost immediately got marked by Konami. So as a result, I'm afraid to do Metal Gear Solid games. I don't even know if I should do other Konami games, so, like Castlevania or Silent Hill, even though I'm not really a fan of Silent Hill, so. Um... Then Final Fantasy is another series I'm kind of hesitant to do, only because I hear that videos in the Final Fantasy... Well, videos that feature the f gameplay from the Final Fantasy games always get marked for music copyright infringement. So... And so Piglet arrived to the entrance of a carnival. But, as with all carnivals, an entry ticket would be necessary to pass... Now but there's nobody frickin' there. The Bullshit. What, do best. what do I need the magnet for? Earlier it said we needed something sharp. Now I'm lost. Um... We already got all the cookies here. Maybe go back to the entrance? No, I see jack shit. There anywhere where we can use the magnet? Maybe at the fair, maybe, no, I keep calling it a Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, I'm not calling it a woozle-go-round, but, oh. Well, probably to keep myself entertained, getting back to other games I may consider off-limits. Well, I know that games made by Quantic Dream and Telltale are probably off-limits, too, because I hear they go around copywriting people, too. Uh, 
Um. Now I'm just lost. Um, I really can't think of any other games that I truly consider off-limits, though. It's just, I don't want to get copyrighted, and that's kind of the reason why I don't play many recent games. Probably the only time I ever played a recent game was on my old channel when I played Cage Recon, because at the time I played it, it had just been released in the U.S., so, yeah. But, that Let's Play is long gone, and that, that's back when I dropped F-bombs practically every second, so... Because I thought it was funny, when it's not. Well, it can be funny when it's used to escalate jokes, or anger. But, not, uh, not just... Si not the simple act of just saying fuck every second is funny. So, keep that in mind if you want to do your own little series. Now I'm looking for a place to use this godforsaken mag- <gasps> Oh! I think I know where we gotta use it! <laughs> okay. We gotta go back to that dartboard, we gotta pull the dart, then we gotta pop the balloon, and then I have no idea what we're gonna do from there. <laughs> Alright, pull it. I don't think a magnet will work with that far away. Oh, from that far away. Ah. Brave little piglet succeeded in removing the dart. Now, we just gotta go pop it and make sure it's not used to inject drugs. <laughs> Saving people from ODing. But in all seriousness, I really don't like... If you inject yourself, if you... If anyone who comes on these videos, if they, if you use drugs, please stop. I really don't endorse it, and it may get to the point where you'll just throw your life away. Spend all your hard-earned cash on drugs, eventually you'll get so... Eventually, your drug abuse will become so apparent that you won't be able to get work anywhere, and any money your friends or family family lend to you so that you can basically make a, have a living are going to go towards drugs. So... Alright. Oh my... Are we doing... For the record, that was not from drugs. That was me just being an idiot. <laughs> some people ask... Some people like Mario 2 have asked. Wow, sometimes you act like you're on drugs. Well, here's the thing. Not only do I not take drugs of any kind, I think it's disgusting. So... <laughs> It's just that I was a weird kid. A really, really weird kid. I remember how weird I was, and sometimes I let it resurface just because, I don't know, maybe it adds to entertainment, maybe it adds to annoyance. Alright, Mr. Balloon, I'm sorry. Damn. That was epic. 
Oh, but now we're out on the balcony, and I wonder what we're going to find on the balcony. Are we going to find a ticket? Uh-oh. It's a ticket! Yay! It looked a lot bigger than what it looked like when we saw it, or maybe that's just blending in with the background of the wood. Now there's no way to get up there. Lovely. And seriously, I'm waiting for those fashion models to just awaken. Alright, why do we have to go in a complete circle? Because look. So, we're finally entering La Carnival, and who is going to be there to take the ticket, seriously? Oh, it's a booth, an automatic thing. That's kind of clever. But, Family. oh god, it's Rue. Rue, have you seen Tigger's stripes? Yes, I've seen them. This way. They're hidden in the haunted house. But the Are you sure about that? Wait, Piglet, I've got an idea on how to open it. Really? How do you know that? We don't have the other one, or how many more we need. Who could have dropped it? Maybe if you find the other three symbols, you can open this gate. So wait, Rue, you fight Heffalumps too? You fight these monsters? Well, anyways, we need cookies, because I'm pretty sure... If there's another scare out there, then we need to collect... And I'm pretty sure that door... I, I saw a comment saying the door is going to show up again, so yeah. For what reason, I have no freaking idea other than the fact that, yeah, you need to encounter the door again. The first time made sense, the second time did not, and the third time is probably not going to make sense either. Yep, there's an R scare. How many, co how many cookies? 150, how much do we have? I can't tell. Don't tell me we have to go back to an earlier level just so we can get all the cookies. Come on. Alright, so we need to kill the tuba, we need to kill the farmer, and... Oh, that's a regular woozle, looks like. We don't have all the cookies. There's some more. And we only have 105. We need 45 more. That's seriously all there is. Are you kidding me? Looks like we're going to go back. No, looks like we're going to have to go back to an earlier level. That kind of sucks. Wait a sec. Got all the cookies here. Got them all there. We didn't get them in there. Didn't get them there. Didn't get them there. And we didn't get them there. Wow. Anyways, the farmer is back. Hi, farmer. Oh! Whoop! Oh! 
I don't understand why we just um, used the LSD scare. I don't know. <sighs> oh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah. Piglet picked up what appeared that. to be an autumn leaf symbol. Anyways, it looks like at the Woozle Go Rounds, there's um, a cookie. Or two. or mi <laughs> Some cookies that we're missing. Oh my god. Tuba, get your ass up! Let's battle! Nice. Okay. That was fast. We have two of them already. And Piglet found what seemed to be a sun symbol. A sun symbol, I know. And it looks like we have to go encounter a, res a regular woos on the ice. Meanwhile, I'm probably going to circle around just so we can get as many cookies as we can. Is there seriously another tuba one? We don't need another one for the tuba. And that's still not all the cookies. That's great. That means our chances of having to go back are lessening. Apparently that honey pot is transparent. Now we only need 35 more. That's still not all the cookies. That's great. Where's the tuba? There's the tuba guy. Now don't bounce so far. I know it's Tigger's dream, but do not bounce so far. And that's all the cookies. 30 more. Tell me there are 30 more in the areas we need to go through. Please tell me that there are. Please. Let's see, there's at least 15 of them. So, I don't know. All right, there's definitely none here. All right. Nice. So Piglet picked now up we have all three of them. Now let's person. go in a complete circle so that way we can find cookies. Alright, we have them all here. So, I'm sure there are more. We just need to know where to look. Okay, that would have been a little too clever. Nope. Seriously, where are they? Got them there. Rabbit's just gonna appear out of nowhere again. Nope. 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 Seriously, where are they?
Shooting long and hard for these frickin'. Oh, okay. Now we have them all. Oh. Alright, we'll have to continue this cookie search in the next video.